Hi everyone. Today my goal is to show you how to make this really cute 3D flower. So it's very dimensional. Um, it has a lace on it. It's called Clooney lace. I think that's how you pronounce it. C-L-U-N-Y. Um, this is actually from Joann's. I don't know how long ago I got it. I'm sorry. It was part of my stash. Now, of course, what you're going to need is a center and you're going to need six flower petals. You are going to need six pieces of lace. What I've done is these are one and a half inch hexes and I've cut my lace to three inches. Now, of course, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to baste your hexi onto your paper template or onto your paper piece. And just go around all the way until you get it basted. Remember, always fold and turn in the same direction. So then after you have your center and your six petals, you can go on to the next step. I'm gonna go ahead and just cut this thread here. Actually, I'll leave it sit. So our next step, you're going to take this three inch piece of Clooney lace and you are just going to gather it with a needle starting at one end going all the way to the other. So as you can see this is actually thread that's doubled just so it's a little stronger. So I've started at one end and I've just gone in and out until I get to the other end and then I'm just going to stitch this together. I hope you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to stitch it together so that I end up with this really pretty petal shape. So here's the edge of one piece of lace. That's where it's gathered. And then there's the other edge. So this one's already been done as well. So see, I'm just going to stitch those edges together to a knot. So then I have another. So you're going to do that until you have all six. Now the fun part is putting it together. Let me do one more stitch in this one. You just want to make sure that it holds up. And then let me show you how I put it on the petal. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that there. Now what I did was I laid it on here. You can kind of see where the center of this one is. And I laid it on to there, to the center of the flower. And then I put the petal on top and I just sandwiched it there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my binder clips to get it so that it's in there. I don't really want it to go past this corner or this corner, so you may have to work with it a little bit to get it in there. Let's see, which needle am I going to use? Let's use this one. And it's a little tricky because with this lace sticking out, you can't really do a whip stitch. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come between the paper and the fabric above the paper piece, go out the corner and into the next. I'm gonna do just a couple and pull those corners really tight there. <laughs> it's like a game. Okay, so I've got this corner in place. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stitch almost as if I were stitching on a sewing machine from one side to the other and then back again. I don't wanna keep them fairly close and you can kind of see how much of the lace is sticking through and that's good because you don't want it to unravel. I'm thinking this might be a, a cute framed flower to put it in a picture frame and then maybe hang it on the wall. So just go back and forth until you get to the end. 
and I'll try to do this quickly so we can show, or I can show you what it looks like. And you're gonna do the same process with all the pieces. I'm gonna take this clip off because I've already gotten that side done. Just keep going. It's a little thicker than what I'm used to sewing through. Just make sure you're pulling it pretty snug because you want it to be a tight fit. You can do this with any kind of lace and be creative with your color scheme. Now they show that the Clooney lace is used in apparel. So it looks like you could probably use this for a blanket that was going to be washed. Or a pillow. Or what about a cute handbag? Just like a little applique on a handbag. That would be cute as well. Let me turn this around so I can see what I'm doing. And I'm not going to lie, it's a little tricky getting through all these layers. Okay, so this will be my last one. I'm going through the corner. And then I'm going to do just a couple of knots here at the end. Because I want this petal to end right there. Okay, so when I open it up, that's what I have. And you can see, just... Put the next piece of lace down, put the next petal over it, clip it together, and then stitch. And once you get that done, you'll have two petals, and then you will just stitch down these sides once you get all of them attached. And then, this is what you end up with. Here's a look at the back. You can see where all the lace is coming out, and that's fine. I think this one I may put on a piece of fabric and then put in a frame and put on the wall. I hope this video has been helpful. If you like it, please go ahead and hit that little thumbs up button, and that will keep it in your saved like videos, and you can come back to it and reference it. I would love if you subscribed. Make sure your notifications are turned on, and you'll get notice of every video and as soon as it comes out. Thanks.